Oh, they did it together. It was in the okay. past. It was a one-time yeah. thing. Sports related, generally speaking, and it was in the papers. They, was, sure, yes. They professionally confuse celebrity game show panelists, no. and they're good at it. No, they're that's just, a no. no. So, what, what's Fred is, is a ventriloquist. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's a no. $750, guys. All right, now, ladies, for $2,000. Good luck, fellas. Thank you. Here you go. Are there, are, there, are there other people home. besides you involved in this? No. Just the two of you. And the record was not set with this? It's like you're trying to have anything to do support. with animals at all? No. You want to answer that one? Well, that's a, that's a no. Not, not really. that's a no. Did you have to have a special education for this? No. No, no special skill? Uh, you where'd you win? Did something else involve yeah. you? No, you, you have to have some no, kind of apparatus for this? Huh? You have to have some kind of well, apparatus uh, for this? Spastic would have a hard time. A special apparatus? Yeah, yeah, I would say to some degree. Do you do this to something else? Oh. No, okay. You didn't oh, get much wow. at all. See, you did fine, fellas. <laughs> Uh, it is and James. A special you have to be right here for your support. One <laughs> time only sports <laughs> and related uh, happened in the past here. and they did it together. For $2,000, what's the, re what's the relationship? They were Siamese twins and they were separated. Thank you very much. That's, you've stumped the panel. Congratulations, guys. What okay. Do they know what they did? <laughs> yes, they do. Oh, okay. In the early 50s, Fred Morris is... <laughs> Listen to this. In the, early, in the early 50s, Fred Morrison spent his weekends convincing people that cake pans could make a good flying saucer. In the early 60s, Ed Hedrick was looking for a way to use all the plastic left over from the hula hoop craze. When Fred and Ed got together, a new craze was born. They invented the Frisbee. Yeah! How about that? Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. It's Unbelievable. It's all in the rest. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I was going Fred, did you have any idea oh, that this man. was going to become such a craze? No idea in the world. Really, who could dream of something like this? You're right. It made millions, and all I've lost, I owe to this man right here. <laughs> How did the Frisbee uh, evolve, Ed? Tell us about the evolution of it. Well, actually, the Frisbee, uh, when Fred first started playing around, he was throwing pie pans and things like that. So this is where the name came from. What did he say? The Frisbee pie. pie. They don't spell it right. No, they don't spell it like you. Frisbees. Frisbees. Fred. Five cents deposit. It's five cent deposit, and actually they threw these on the campuses in the eastern uh, colleges like Yale and Harvard and some of those places. And so then, yeah. and then what happened? That's where Frisbee came from. They were going to hit somebody in the head with a steel thing, and they yelled, Frisbee, instead of four. So. Oh. And then this is the way Frisbee was when Fred did it, when, it came, when I came to Whammo. It was a flying saucer, a Pluto platter, and that. So in the 60s, when I came to the Whammo, the obvious thing to do was to not make it a Pluto platter, but to make it into something that, you know, we would look at and say, well, that's a sporting goods uh, type Item. of equipment, yeah, right? right? So, plus that, the, the hippie generation was in the 60s, and this kind of became <laughs> their, their, <laughs> Fred's going to sleep. Yes, Fred. <laughs> Thank you, Fred. You know what? These guys are gonna these guys are gonna have their own show before we finish it. This is terrific. Fred and Ed, thanks for being with us. Great to have you here. We'll, we'll come back with more than 33 in a moment. Don't go. Third degree will be right back. Don't go away. Here, come on, let's go, Ed. What do you, how do you do this? Gotta get some money up for this. Yeah, get money up. Some of our relationships are staying at Best Western, where you'll find more hotels, more hospitality, and more personality than anywhere over 3,300 worldwide. A member of our studio audience will receive the multi-pure drinking water system featuring the exclusive solid carbon block filter that conveniently provides you with delicious spring fresh drinking water. Furnished by Multipure. Watch The Cosby Show today at 4, followed by Charles in Charge at 4.30. The stars come out with win, lose, or draw next on KSL Television.